tsirele hona moyengwe na ono wa khumamelo let's stand on our feet o kore ba le exoda and we read from exodus chapter 12 verse 12 Yes, Lord. What's Get That night I will go through the through Egypt. I will strike down every firstborn. In that same night, at that time, in that year, in 2021, I will pass through all earth. But, the blood will be your sign. And when I see the blood, whilst I kill the first bonds, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. When I see the blood and the sign, I will pass. In that year, 2021, in 2021, 2020, and 2020, there will be a sickness that is called COVID-19. But when I see the blood, 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 Ah. Yo. Ah. Hey. When I see the blood. The punishment that was due to you. It will pass. Yeah. Oh, my dear. Oh, my dear. Oh, my dear. Oh, my Oh, my Mm.
I don't know if you're here today I don't know but you need the sign of the blood the blood of Jesus I don't know what's going to happen in that same night. Which uh, punishment is coming to our family? Which punishment is coming to your family? But in Exodus, the Bible says, in that same night, I will pass through. I will pass through Egypt. But when I see the blood. When I see the blood. The power of the blood of Jesus. There's something that God is doing in someone's life. God is doing something in you today because of the blood. The blood that Jesus shed for me way back on Calvary tree
Clap hands for the Holy Spirit. Just clap hands for the Holy Spirit. Clap hands for the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the old times, when a person had sinned, they would take a, a, a goat or lamb and they would take it up to the priest and they would have a sacrifice done. A lamb Blood had to be shed. And when the blood had been shed, that sacrifice would be over or would be finished or completed. It's not just in the Israeli, uh, Israelite culture. It is found in many cultures. And even for us as Basotho. Basotho always sacrifice an animal. And blood has to be shed. And when the blood has been shed, it means that uh, life has been bestowed upon that. And, and blood means life. When there is no blood, there is no life. For you to be alive, it's because there is blood flowing through your vessels. And blood brings life. I learned this morning that even the oxygen that our bodies need for the oxygen to reach the all parts of the body it has to be carried by the blood. The hearts we have the heart pumps blood. When it stops, life ends. Because there is no blood supply. That means the blood is quite essential. Let us forget about the sacrifices that we, that we normally see being done. The bottom line is blood is quite essential. From the Bible, blood means life. The blood is life. Now, 
more Babylon thing. So where we read Bibilere huno ho ina le bana ba Israel. The Bible says they were Israelites. Bane ba sutla le fase le o sila bo bona. They were tortured in a foreign land. Bane ba itswa hampi ba ntse magoba. They were put into slavery. They were used day and night. There was no hope in them. But one day, God remembered them. God remembered them. God would not just remember them. There had to be a way which God used. There had to be a sign of blood or life. Where there is blood, there is life. Where there is blood, there is life. That is why when somebody has low blood, they had to be transfused. So God remembered the children of Israel. This Friday, we remember what God did for us. He remembered us. And when he remembered, he died for our sins. It wasn't enough that he should die. He had to shed his blood. Even when a prisoner a prisoner leaves um Custody. But so to believe that a chicken has to be slaughtered. When God had made a decision, he remembered. According to the message we had last week, God made a plan that each family they should eat. They should eat the meat. Each of them. For them to get the salvation, they must eat meat from the lamb. Not just any. The lamb. If the family did not have anything, the, God says they should join another. So they eat from the lamb together. So they can fellowship together. Your body. For your body to live. Your flesh. For your flesh to live. It has, it should have blood. And he said, each of you should eat the lamb. And when that has happened, the blood from which uh, the lamp has been eaten, that blood should be put on the doorstep. Because at that night, when I pass, there are two things that I will see. I will see a person who has eaten the lamb and the sign of the blood. And when the death comes, I will see blood and I will pass. And he says the same blood. For you, it should be your sign. When we go to the New Testament, we find Jesus. He says, I am the bread of life. Whoever who eats from me, they will not hunger. He says, eat the lamb. Each family should eat the lamb. The Bible says, each of us, they should take Jesus. They should take Jesus as their life. Each of us should eat 
from the lamb. Born again, let all of us eat Jesus. Let us take the bread of life. Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Whoever eats from me, they will hunger no more. Because he is the bread of life. Each family, let it eat the lamb. Now, after eating, you should spread the blood in your doorsteps. So when the angel of death comes, it will see the blood and it will pass. There are two things that happened. A person has eaten and they are full. A person has eaten the, blood, the body of Christ. When a person is, has eaten of Jesus, they are full of him. When the person has eaten the, blood, the body of Christ, they have eaten of God. They are full of God. And that cannot affect God. Because he, God does not die. That is why the Bible says, each of us, let them eat Jesus. Let them eat the, from the lamb. Because when you have eaten, you have eaten life. When you've eaten the land, you have eaten the flesh of God. And God has not died. When you are full of God, death will not conquer you. Each of us. Let them eat Sunday, of the lamb this Sunday. Sunday. Next Sunday, we are going to partake in communion. And that would be a sign that reflects your salvation when you eat of the lamb and you are full of the bread of life. And after that, take the sign. And that is the sign of blood. When I see the blood, I will pass. I want you to look at your life. I want you to look at COVID-19. In the calendar of Christianity, Nothing surpasses Easter. Easter depicts the peak of our salvation and it shows the power of God on people. I want you to look at this year and last year as well. Why were you saved until today? I will see the blood and I will pass. And the blood will be your sign. When I see the blood, I will see that there is life. Let me tell you something today. When there is no blood, there is no life. The song, the hymn that I wanted us to sing, it says, it means, he took our sins. He took our sins to, to the cross. He did not deserve to die. He, he shouldn't have died. But because of our sins, he took the sins. Now, let me tell you something about the blood. The blood is pumped from the heart. That is where the love abides. And from the heart, life is pumped. 
If you listen to your heart, you How will hear that attention. If you fall down or collapse, and they want to feel whether, doctors want to feel whether they are alive, they will want to hear the pulse. Now, who know who look at who tremadi? So blood had to be shed. Because Mushadi Wamadi. Because the source of life. That is where love abides. Now, yes, so now look at our reaction. Jesus had to die. The heart had to pump blood. And the source that pumps this blood should come from the source of where the love abides. That is why the Bible says, because he loved you so, he gave his only begotten son so you can now, have so the blood that you have been marked with, it's not just the blood, but it's blood that has loved. It's the blood of God. It's not just the blood of a lamb. It's the blood of God himself. How are we marked with this blood? We are not marked like it was before. We don't kill doves and uh, animals like we did. At that time when animals were slaughtered, every year, you would have to go back to slaughter or sacrifice. There are people who are really struggling out there. Every year, they have to go to a traditional doctor so they can renew whatever they are on. So God saw that a person had to sacrifice a lamb. God decided to make a sacrifice once. And the way we are marked today, it's different different from the one that was used before. We are marked, our bodies are all marked. And when we meet things in life, there is a, a mark they see. When an epidemic comes, they see the sign. One day, when I greeted one uh, lady, while I was living in Hamabot, when I greeted her, <laughs> when I asked her what was happening, and she said, I see the blood. Listen, child of God, you are marked with the blood of Jesus. It's not the blood you will see with your naked eye, but it's the blood that you have accepted when you took Jesus into your life, when you took him as your Lord and Savior. The mark of the blood that is when it covered you. That is why even when you are sleeping and your heart is pumping, even the witches cannot do anything to you because there is a sign of blood upon you. There is a sign upon you. There is a sign of blood upon you. When I see the blood in the same night, I will walk through Egypt. But when I see the blood, I will pass. You have been marked with the blood of Jesus. If you are here today and you have not taken Jesus as your Lord and Savior, let me explain how you get this sign. You get the signs in saying yes. by saying, Jesus, I take you as a Lord and Savior of my life. When you say that, you are marked with the blood. You become a don't touch. 
you become a don't touch. When demons come to you, they approach you knowing the, the sign of the blood. They have to ask for your permission so they can test you. Because you have been marked there is no test which uh, can come from you. What am I saying to you? Whatever test you go through, you have been given the power through the mark of the blood to win. The blood will be your mark. I don't know what you're going through today. I don't know what you want from God. But I want, I feel in my spirit that if you are here and you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, just raise your hand so we can give you the mark of the blood. If you are here and you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, raise your hand. All of us have taken Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Let us clap hands for ourselves. Now, so when you have Jesus as your Lord and Savior, when you walk, you walk with confidence because you know you have the mark. When we are at the border gate and we are crossing to another country, so there is one parliamentarian which I know. She, he had a, a red passport. Passport It's a diplomatic passport. How a diplomat. When you are a diplomat, How you, line in the you don't queue with everyone. The mark you have is a passport. diplomatic passport. So while I was standing at the queue, he said, come, let's go together. So he took my passport and his and the other person. And he, he's the only one with the diplomatic and passport. And the other person. He only, he's the one with the red passport, but he the, the greens. Mm -hmm. When he handed over the passport, the passports were stamped. Next time, he like the moon. Next time I was alone, he was not there. And I don't have a diplomatic passport. I was safe because Some of you, your family is safe because you are there. Your family is safe because you are there. Family safe because of you. That is why you have to ask them to take Jesus. Because when you go away, there won't be any protection. When I was wearing a diplomatic passport, you are the one with a diplomatic passport. Your family, even if you're not with them, whilst they are with you, they will be they, they, they will have grace. The, the mark of the blood will be our mark. How so? When you are marked with the blood, you walk like a diplomat. You pass like a diplomat. You speak like one. So a diplomat doesn't speak or say anything. While we say many things, even our dress code is different. The way we do things is different. Because they are marked. Our mark is not marked through it. But it's spiritual. When we do things, we do them in the spirit. When we dress, we dress in the spirit. When we speak, we speak through the spirit.
Even when we speak, we just speak life. Even when there is death, it's because we do things spiritually. We have a spiritual mind. When they see things in and things are not going well, because of the sign, the sign of the blood, and being fed of the land, and I say I have Jesus, all things are okay. Even when things are not right. Because our mark, it's that of the spirit. You speak with your mouth. You speak with, the, with, with words. But you create life. You are very dangerous because you are mouth. You are full of the lamb. When you are full of the lamb, you will when you have eaten the lamb, you will burp what you have eaten. When you speak, you speak the lamb. When you speak, you speak life. He says, I'm the bread of life. Whoever comes to me, even when they are hungry, they will live. Even when they are sick, they will say, I live. They will say, I'm healed. Even when they are in pain, because you speak from the spirit, you will say, I'm up. Now, how so? When you have eaten the lamb, as I wrap up, how so? When you have eaten the lamb, you have eaten God. And when you have eaten from God, you are called creator. You are a co-creator. Tell your neighbor, you don't know yourself. Jesus came so that your completion of being a co-creator is completed or endorsed. Whatever you say happens. When, when you uh, sow anything, it lives. Life and death. Hmm. Why? Because when I come when I call creator, because you are a co-creator. Whatever you say, into your say you will bring shall come to pass. Yeah, better hala. Ha ha. If you are in come from how? What are you saying with your mouth? In kapa in your will bring. Whatever you say. Because of the mark, because of the lamb you've been fed with, it will come to pass. I will see the blood and I'll pass. You have been marked with the blood. There is no weapon. Forged against you to kill you that will prosper because you've been marked with the blood. Even the plans will not suffice because you have been marked with the blood. We did not have the right. But Jesus died. So we can have the right. I will see the blood. And I will pass. When you leave um, this compound today. Whatever it is that you've been battling with. When you leave this door. Give it a smile. And say these words. Madi. 
the blood is my, my mark or my sign. I don't know what it is. But say these words. I'm full of the blood. I've been marked with the blood and full of the lamb. I pray. Relevoa kama dia hao. Madi at sambo fila. Madi are swaile. Paseke nyena abashano lena. Modi mwaka ya lukile la paseka le uro hopola ngotaki swa hao. Re hopola madi ya ilenga atsoloha. Atsoloha hang. Kaleba kaladi vizaloha. Ndatere alebo wakao na madi yao. Au kajeno modi mwara yuaruna ya lukile. Reti sansele kaneseo. Pake nsaro na loena. Ndatu wakao ya lukile. Renka kajeno modi mwaka ya lukile. Kahasele mosef chileng hareka bara kwa pana. Sebele to nyena ya paseka. Horo na ele hota to leti iso. Modi mwaka ya lukile ngubano za kame isa. Hare hupola le fula hao. Kine rieze sena. Kibu kane hamo hoka jeni. Taba ena hare nki hanyane. Modi mwaka ya lukile. Renka ele mosholo tabe ya. Ria lebo waka madi ya hao. E mwile mwenye atensi wa kensena. Otwa ilwe. Kamadi. Ahao. Ria lebo andati. Kalebi sola jesu. Amen. Shafela mweo hala mazoho.